His name is Charles Apoki. Brother Charles Apoki is a medical doctor by training. He's a medical doctor. But in addition to his medical life, he's also an educationist. He has schools that he has established. In addition to that, he's a farmer. <laughs> he has a very large expanse of farm. So he's multifaceted. But above all of this, he is indeed a dear and a true servant of God. A man that God is giving his word and his unction to minister to his people. Let us receive to this platform this vessel of God, Dr. Charles Apoki, and know that God is going to bless us through him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, can you stretch your right hand in my direction? Join your feet with mine and say, Lord Jesus, anoint your servant to preach your word with simplicity with sincerity, with soundness of doctrine. Holy Spirit, circumcise my ears, fertilize my heart, that the words I will hear will produce tangible results. I will come back with testimonies and testimonials in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Please be seated. I'm so glad to be here. It's been quite some time I really came here. I said I was a farmer. When I know the job, I they wait for on a Gary go dear very soon. <laughs> Gary go dear when I go see fire. I go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I farm on 40 acres. I, I bought 40 acres about nine years back. So I farm on 40 acres. Farm cassava, um, potatoes. I planted a lot of potatoes. So I'm going to make a lot of money from Gary and from Fufu. We're going to laugh. I wait for now. Praise the Lord. I want to thank our Father in the Lord for inviting me. And I want to congratulate you all for this beautiful edifice. It's my first time of coming since you built this wonderful place. I'm feeling abroadish. It's like I said, they're abroad. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to fuse two issues, crossover, and then God is my helper. And I'm not going to preach what you expect. I'm going to share something that will stimulate you to pray. You see, the concept of crossover, one year I told God, Happy New Year, my father. He told me, he said, you have been existing, you have not been living. I said, what is existence and what is living? And he said, existence is breathing in and breathing out. Bios. He said, living is when somebody thanks me. Somebody does thanksgiving because of you. That is somebody thanks me, thanks God because of you. He said, my son, go and live. And I came up with a resolution that I will leave every person better than I met that person. 
I will leave every place better than I left, met that place. And my life took a new turn. I'm going to show you one of the key ingredients about God helping somebody. And I'm going to talk about allotropy, divine allotropy, crossing over. You see, carbon exists in the form of charcoal, the same sea. Carbon exists as graphite, the same thing. Allotropy is the existence of an element in a state in different forms. So charcoal can catch fire, but cannot conduct electricity. Graphite can conduct electricity and can be used as a lubricant. But diamond is the same charcoal, but it can disperse light, can reflect light. I have existed in different forms. I have caught firewood in this area, carried firewood in this area, but I've also been carried in a convoy in this area with siren. That is, I crossed over from firewood person. Am I talking to somebody? Because the Gregorian calendar with which we are operating is not the same calendar that they used in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is still in about 2020. They don't celebrate Christmas with us. You can cross over. I'm going to be, I hope I'm, I'm not annoying any person. You can cross from one year to the other and remain as charcoal. Until your crossing from one year to the other turns you to graphite or diamond, your crossing over is not really important. Because the black man prays so much. The black man loves God so much. But the black man is not as productive as the white man. It is because we lack it. We are not as productive as the Jews whose God we serve. Because we lack a basic understanding of divine principles. Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So you can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid what men mortals do to me. Please watch this demonstration. Me me yirai. Me help me pick this handkerchief. Me me yirai, help me pick this handkerchief. Did any person help me? Me me yirai is my mother's name. Because she is not in this hall, nobody could help me. Do you understand me? The handkerchief was there. There was such a large crowd. But Mimi Yirai was not here, so the handkerchief was not picked, and I did not get help. The help of God comes from his presence. You see, church can continue without the presence of God. A black man was invited to a church in the U.S., and they didn't know he was a black man. When he got there, they found out that he was a black man. And they told him not to enter the church, that they would not preach. And he was feeling bad in the hotel room. The Holy Spirit told him, he said, they just drove me only today, that they have driven me long time away from the church. So if you read in this passage, he said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So I can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid what men mortals do to me. Number one, it started with contentment. Contentment is gratitude with expectation. You are thanking God for the past six months, but there must be expectation for the next six months. If it is not like that, then it's the stagnation. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it says that 1 and verse 8, has helped me throughout my life. I've been to the most dangerous places in the world. I've been in the most difficult circumstances. But he says there, I will not leave you 
or forsake you. I will go with you. I will not fail you. I will be with you. Be strong. So the presence of God. You see, in this place, it says, I will, in verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 30, so we, we, I, so we say with confidence, the presence of God breeds confidence. Let me quickly tell you this story. I'm from Otokutu in Ugiami. Somebody was complaining that it is the juju of his father, his grandfather's place that is worrying him. I said, where are you from? He said, from Otokutu. I asked him, is your place close to the water side? He said, yes. I said, is the name of the juju Agalope? He said, yes. I said, that's my grandfather's juju now. The thing is not worrying me, but it's worrying you. And it is your mother that is from there. It is my father that is from there. So me, you know, worry me, we get real inheritance to the place. Somebody like me now, ancestral cause is not going to be worrying my children. You know why? The senior one, the person when he won't marry, in papa na professor, in mama na professor, me I be doctor, in mama na nurse. Where ancestral courses go from come? Am I talking to somebody here? So, the juju that was worrying him does not worry me. You see this Ephraim juju here? This one here. The original one is from my mother's place, Ephraim It is my great, 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 great grandmother that built it from water. It is worrying them. It is not worrying me. As you see me, a witch has never pressed me. Because even in my sleep, I, I think I'm troublesome. Exodus chapter 33, 1 to 6. You will see there that the children of Israel were about to cross over. The children of Israel was about to cross over. Exodus chapter 33, 1 to 6. And Moses and the people heard from God that he will not go with them. And that he will send an angel. And the people were grieved that the presence of the Lord will not go with them. But before now, Moses had been talking to God face to face. He had been having rema. He had been prophesying. He had seen signs and wonders. But for them to cross into the promised land, God said he would not go with them because they are stiff-necked people, rebellious people. Then Moses, the people removed their earrings, removed everything. God had promised them the land. He will give them the land. He will give them this based on his word. But his presence was not going to go with them. So they dare not cross over without his presence. Then what is the presence of God? If we look at Exodus chapter 33, 12 to 7. Exodus chapter 33, 12 to 7. Can I have that up? Exodus 33, 12 to 7. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up these people, and thou hast not let me know who thou wilt send with me. You have said that I know thee by name, and thou hast found grace in my sight. Can I have the next one, please? Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy face, show me thy way, that I may know thee, that I might find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. The next verse. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Somebody say rest. rest. The next thing, let's go on. Next verse. He says, and he said unto him, thy presence will not go with me, carry not us up hence. Next verse. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace? Somebody say grace. grace. Is it not thou that goest with us so that, so that shall we be separated? In some Bibles say so that we will be distinct from other people. So the presence of God involves the following. Number one, favor. Number two, grace. In fact, the presence of God is the essence of God. No matter your achievement, David had done so much. When he sinned, he said, 
uh, cast, not, cast me not away from your presence. I tell people I don't do adultery. I've been married for 37 years. I'm 63 this year. I started inserting my hand inside women from a very tender age. I opened my first hospital at the age of 29. <laughs> Bishop know me, say, you know, sir, I know they normal. <laughs> Maybe now make another invite me, sis. <laughs> Old guns still they kill person. I went to preach in Durban, and because I'm a funny man, and because anointing was moving, people were falling. After the end of the, at the end of the meeting, one woman with two nuclear reactors on her chest came and hugged me. Oh, men of God, Igbidi. Okay, Nebiko. My chest was hot for three days. I get tempted. But the, I know the day I kiss another woman, his presence will leave me. And I will just be an empty carton. The problem today is that Christians can be in church and still. Christians can commit fornication and sing in the choir. Pastors can sleep with members' wives. A member slept with pastor's wife in Ugeli. They asked how many times he, he, he slept with you. say ten times. You were bold enough to approach pastor's wife. What we do not see in Igbe. In Igbe, a member cannot sleep with a lorry Igbe wife. There was an Urobo man that was not admitted into Ogboni because he took somebody's wife who was cooking Ukodo for him. Some of you know that story. He was not admitted into Ogboni, but you can be a pastor and sleep with your choir. Then you come here and see, speak nonsense. Shandara, but Shandara, but and Shakiri wear sandal. When we pray for the presence of God in churches, why we are not seeing the manifestations we saw when we got born again is that if his presence comes, ambulances will carry dead people away. It's not enough to cross over. Are we crossing over with his presence? His presence is his essence. His presence is the secret of continual favor. His presence leads to shalom. I don't know who came to carry me. Those of you who came to carry me, you saw the big school you came to. Sir, I have 1,500 students. It's a big school. I don't know how much my wife earns there. I don't ask her. You see the pictures I sent to you? Beautiful school. I don't know how much my wife spends there. When you live a life to a point that what you don't have does not matter as long as God is with you, that is the peak of self-actualization. There is nothing my mates own that will make me feel bad. I will tell you a story when at the end. The presence of God gives you shalom, gives you peaceful contentment. During this obeying, they have, they have called me. During um, and after answers, did any of you see the video I did during answers? The way the oligarchy fights. The Eurobans called me. Are you afraid of the government? I said no. Who kills me is this, is this business. Should we take you out of the country? I say no. Recently, somebody called me. I want to sponsor you for presidency. I said no. I said leadership is not in occupation of offices. It is in being role models and molds for people to fit into. Another person called me. That person dashed me in hillocks. He called me. He said, now that Labour Party is on, can I contest as the Labour Party governorship candidate that I will sponsor? I said, I don't want. If I one day I woke up, I slept, 
and I dreamed that I was in a queue to photostat 24 copies of my, 21 copies of my certificates to become a commissioner in Delta State. I was so angry with myself. Call me what? Commissioner. I was in the same hall with Okoa at the University College Hospital. When I was Jaguda, he was not Jaguda. The day Bob Marley died, we drank 100 cartons of beer. He wasn't there. I'm a postgraduate Jaguda. Ambody of Lagos State was my junior. You reach a stage in life when you have experienced the presence of God. What people run after, you don't run after them. It will shock you to know that I have only one cough link. Only one. They call me that may tokpen, Dr. Apoki tokpen. I don't run after what you run after. I was telling my children recently, some of you must have seen it on Facebook too, the reality of the aging. Of age. I said, when I die, don't dig concrete grave. Just dig sand. Wrap me with white cloth. Throw me inside. Don't bring guest preacher and only me know myself. Guest preacher don't know me. Don't do thanksgiving. Sing only three hymns. Fading away like the stars of the morning, only to be remembered by what he has done. When they are throwing me inside the grave, rock off ages, clear for me. Then when the people are going, sing the song we sing at Government College Ugeli at the end of the term. Lord, this means us. We die blessings. Don't do thanksgiving. What do you thank God for? Don't put me in an ambulance. I'm not hurrying anywhere. Don't wear a shoy be. When they come see me with old cloth before, continue with the old cloth. Can you live a life, reach a point in life? They are tick back back. The Udwe bro, this one, don't do this one. This one, don't do this one. That you can serve God without his bothering you. The presence of God. His presence displays his approval and leads to the spicing and icing in your life. His presence is the distinguishing factor from others. Now, it comes with knowing his ways, the way God functions. Moses, the people saw the deeds, but Moses knew his ways. However, I want to look at his presence in the lives of people. He relates with you from stage to stage. And now, if we look at the life of Joseph, let's use it as an example. Genesis chapter 37, 1 to 10. Now, remember in the Hebrews place, what can man do to me? What can man do to me? Joseph, at the age of 17, Genesis, Genesis chapter 37, 1 to 10, the Bible says that this is the history of Jacob. He dwelt where his father dwelt. Listen, if you are still dwelling where your fathers dwelt, you have not crossed. You are still living the life of your fathers. You are still living like a typical person from your tribe and your locality. You have not crossed. At the age of 17, he brought a bad report concerning his brothers. That means he had started separating. Crossing over starts with separating your mind. And then because he was separated, God chose him. In every generation, God looks for a man to bless. In every generation, God looks for a man to carry the family name forward and you are that person. I am the only surviving apoki. All others are great-grandchildren. As I stand here, I don't have brother, I don't have sister. But I'm more than seven children. My mother told, used to tell me, that is, she didn't expect anything from me. But before she died, she said, if I didn't have you as a child, they would have called me a witch. 
can you have that hunger? It's not enough to move from one year to the other, remaining the same. And the Bible says, and Jacob loved him because he bore him in old age. Listen, when the presence of God is with you, people look for excuses to bless you. Re uh, Benjamin was born older later than Joseph. But because the presence of God was with Joseph, the father was looking for an excuse to bless him. He said, I bore him in old age. Have you seen people tell you, I don't know why they do this thing for you? You need that kind of favor. No. The Bible says when he was in Potiphar's house, he prospered because the Lord was with him. The presence of God was with him. He said, anywhere Potiphar posted him to, he prospered. Anything he did, he prospered in Potiphar's house. And then Potiphar put him in charge. The presence of God was there helping him. God was his helper, but he was still a houseboy. He had not crossed over to his dream that he had. I don't know if I'm looking at finished products here, but in my mind, I'm looking at raw material. I'm looking at what God can still work on, unless you don't have dreams. So, God can be helping you as a houseboy. As a special assistant to Okowa, you can do very well, but Okowa is still your master. You can prosper, but he's still your master. Am I talking to somebody? You can be a manager in Shell, and you have not really crossed your barrier. You are still, you can be Permanent secretary here, yeah, you are still graded and leveled. You are still a civil servant, a civilized slave. Bishop, don't look at me like that. Don't be angry with me. Because you don't have, Joseph did not have his own time. He could not determine his closing time. He, he had no liberty. In the presence of God, there is liberty. Liberty is not rascality. If you put hydrochloric acid on, on top of calcium carbonate, the carbon dioxide trapped in it is liberated. Liberty is the expression of the deposit in you. It's the turning of caterpillar to butterfly. Many of you are still in the raw material state, still on finished product state, but most times, because of contentment, we are thanking God for who and what he has made us but we must expect something more. And so, the master, the mistress, set her eyes on Joseph, and then they threw Joseph into prison. He lost one coat before, of many colors. He lost another coat. Your coat can be your identity, can be your status symbol. Man can do that to you. Say, so what can man do to me? Man can act against you. Sir, after I finish preaching here, during a PFN meeting, when I preached on maintaining standard, you remember, sir, when they didn't want me to complete the message, when Bishop Kingsley revolted, and I completed the message, I went to preach for one bishop, and I asked him, why do you still invite me? Your, some of your friends don't like me. He called me inside. He said, after that meeting, some of us whole meeting, we could not invite you to come to our churches. But I'm here. I'm here. The one when I carry past, the one when they take. Because when I sold the hospital and we were going to Okokoko to do Gari, my wife would be doing Gari. One of my in-laws go waka pass. If we quit school, we will carry on. If we quit school, we will carry Because I used to buy quaker for my mother-in-law. They say, "Oh, go a quaker. Oh, go a quaker." Go and look at that same Igbimidaka, that cassava plantation, 
where we uprooted cassava. Go and see what I've built there. There is no Okokoko indigenous that has built a school, a house like that there. Today, the same people call me my big in law. <laughs> my big in law. Even the hospital I sold to become pastor, and my in laws also call me fake pastor. You'll be better pastor, I mean, better doctor now you sell your hospital. You'll be better doctor, fake doctor, fake doctor. Today, my senior son is a surgeon in Germany. Not be black people in the operate. No, Igbo. Oh, evil. Stand up and tell somebody, don't look at me like that. <laughs> tell the person, if you are shorter than me, I'm taller than you. <laughs> if you are fatter than me, I'm thinner than you. <laughs> if you are fairer than me, I'm darker than you. <laughs> Face your life. <laughs> sit on your chair, I will sit on my own. You cannot dream my dream. God knows what he is planning for me. Stand up and shout, I am coming! And then they threw him in prison. You don't understand what I'm talking about. God is my helper by his presence. God went to prison because of Joseph. He said, and God was with him. Me, me, and I couldn't pick the thing because she was not here. So if God was with Joseph in the prison, God went to prison because of Joseph. And they said, when they go fine for U.S. at the get for house. The dollars went in, they go U.S. If I make a post, YouTube, they pay me in dollars. Oh, really? They pay me in dollars. So, some of the inheritance I will hand over to my children is not only properties, password and username. <laughs> the hospital, when I sell, my Pekin marry Oyibo doctor, cardiologist. What them Ramatan? How many words you carry over the So I lost the coat of doctor. And I became fake doctor. But a married doctor, I get surgeon. I don't care what you have lost in the time past. God is bringing better models. And he was in charge. In prison. Even in prison, the anointing did not depart. The anointing is not locational. Neither is the anointing circumstantial. The presence of God, he said, I will be with you always. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know what you are, what, can you imagine a medical doctor? By the time I answered the call and I came to Ugili 22 years back, do you know that it is the soap they give me in hotels that I will preserve and give to my children to bath? Do you know it's the tissue paper they give to me that I will keep? Do you know it is the food that they serve me? Oh, God bless Mrs. Evans and God bless uh, Mrs. John Eze. They will bring sardine, bring bread. I will put my belly on the bed. I won't eat until afternoon, turn into fasting. I will gather the sardine, gather the bread, the food. I will eat only small and put the others inside the fridge. Then I will wake up 4 a.m. and start coming to Ugeli so that the food won't sour. So that these children, so that these children will not hate God because they didn't, they didn't answer call with me. No, let me answer. I'm not even sure whether God called me and I miss call I get. No, let me come, God, come call God. God, I think you will need somebody like me. So that these children will not get discouraged. When I, when, I, when I bring the food down, I will say, I will just put the bag. I say, say, bang, bang, they will say, bang, bang. I will say, say, bang, 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 they will say, bang, bang, bang. Say, ch -ch -ch. I will open the zip. Ch -ch. I will bring out Bombita. Hey, 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 daddy, the daddy. 
I will bring out biscuit. Hey, daddy, the daddy, bring out soup. Before I come back, my wife has bought kerosene on credit. Doctor, wife, nurse, we train trained for UBTH and Abia State University teaching us the thing. Christmas, now foul neck. Would they go by with Willy Willy? Two kilograms. Will you? <laughs> but today, I have a poultry in my compound. I opened my fridge. It was filled with chicken, filled with eggs, filled with fish. I ate ice fish. Eh? If you collected my blood, you would see ice fish inside. <laughs> Not too long ago. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. But God was with me. I had a feeling, I had a joy that this is not my final bus stop. That I had where I will still go to. That I will cross over to somewhere. Am I talking to somebody? And the anointing was moving, but the money was not following. God is preparing something. So, Joseph was manifesting anointing, but he was still in prison. Have you ever felt, I don't know if the person is here, have you ever felt that you are more than this? Have you ever felt, have you ever, have you ever gotten to a situation? That's why I left Abba. When I was going somewhere, I saw the kind of sand we have in Uruboland here. And I remembered my dream that I wanted to be governor before Ibori. And here I was at a bar at the Church of God Mission. They were calling me Dr. Prosperity, but I knew I was not prospering. And I saw one day my classmate, I was in prison, sir, but they were thinking I was doing good. I don't know if we have people like that here. You know it, that you are more than where you are now. You are more than, you know, when you are living in one room, you think you have property until you pack into a flat. But a wise man will know that this is not where I'm supposed to be. You know, sometimes you need to get angry. I was there, and I saw the sand. We were going for a burial, and I told AK, I said, I'm going back home. He said, why? I said, I'm going to rebuild my life. I'm going to reactualize my dream. I was crossing over from one year to the other. I was aging, but I was not progressing. In Delta State, we are unnecessarily excited, unnecessarily happy. Have you been to Ausa Quarter before? Have you seen Ausa people just being happy in here? Have you seen an Igbo boy doing business? Have you seen him unnecessarily happy? In fact, during the convention, APC and PDP convention, you will see Buhari will sit down. Tinibu will sit down. The other one, they will sit down. It's only the poor. Shino Peters that has mismanaged his life. Shino Peters used 20 million to build a house in 1990. Uh, what is his name? Jim Ovia used 20 million to open Zenith Bank. Zenith Bank is all over the place. Shino Peters' house has turned to liability. He came for APC convention. Bang, 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 bang. As if he has epilepsy. Gwang, 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 gwang. Stupid people are unnecessarily happy. There's a time you need to calm down and reflect on your life. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this how I am supposed to be? There was a day I read in Vanguard that an American-based neurosurgeon just did this and did that. That American-based neurosurgeon was my junior at FGC. Was my junior in medical school. And here I was in Abba, struggling with one clinic. Coincidentally, I was climbing a dustbin to my house, a refuse dump. And I said in Igbo, e fulam. The meaning of e fulam, you say, I don't lost. But my own I don't lost is that I went to market the market of life. 
I traded. I made losses. Then I missed my road. But they thought I was doing well. I was importing cars. I was importing fish meal. But that is not me. That, is, that was not Dr. Pokey, the dreams I had. The dreams I had at El Kere, the dreams I had at FGC Worry, the dreams I had at Government College, the dreams I had in medical school. That was not the dream. And I said, a full lamb. And God told me, remember, you have children. He's not yet married. Remember, you are married. Your children are worth more than all his achievements. So I took consolation. If you look around you, there are still problems. But there's still something to thank God for. This your leg that you trek with and you're angry. To cut it off is very expensive. To get an artificial leg is very expensive. Those of you here, I don't know how poor people take the burn easily. You know the quick see rich man when born triplets. No only people when go beg money and the quick born. You go born peacefully. Go house. No, no cesarean section. You are not grateful enough. Do you know how much is cesarean section? So Joseph was in prison. He was still limited until something happened. Joseph told, interpreted two dreams. One to somebody in the palace that came to pass. The other person from the palace that died. For two years, they forgot Joseph. So Joseph was in prison for about 10 years. He was crossing over from one stage to the other. One year to the other. There was, there was motion but no progress. Then something happened. Pharaoh dreamt a dream. And they needed to take Joseph to interpret that dream. And there was famine. And Joseph became the solution. Listen. I will say one or two things and I'm done. Because of you to leave your confinement and your isolation and your state of not maximizing your life yet, God can cause something to happen. 2020, I used to speak to UBA at Worry the, the market. I go to UBA. By 7, I am there. I'll speak to them till 8 o'clock every first working day of the year. When I speak to them, then they will start work. I'll pray with them. 2020, I got them. I told them that I won't come here again. That I've overgrown you people. When they just give me maybe some honorarium, small money, new notes, they would think they were doing me a favor. And I announced on radio that this is my year of globalization. I want to become a global citizen. And that I won't be preaching in churches like before. That I will be speaking to corporate organizations. Somebody called me. He said, doctor, won't they think you are proud? I said, if they think they are pr I'm proud, that's their life. It is my life. I know where I'm supposed to be. This new decade... I am crossing over to it as a global citizen. I did, NSAS came. Why did I do that post? COVID came. COVID came, my schools were closed. My preaching on radio was closed. Preaching to companies was closed. So what did I do? I started making videos with my phone. And I made that NSAS video. And I made a video about the vision of Petra Christian Academy, Petra Institute. Somebody saw it in the United States and called me. He told me he was going to send me an amount that blew my head. I don't know him. 
He, sent, he has sent the first one million, however. Suddenly, that global dream started manifesting. People started calling me from all over the world. In a few days' time, I'm going to sit in my house and preach to a church in Qatar. Qatar. United Arab, I mean, uh, Qatar, Doha. I'm going to sit in my house and preach to them. I preached to you, I spoke to UPU in America, the whole of UPU from my house. Zoom meeting. It was as if Zoom was created because of me. Suddenly, the world started calling me. Today, if I do counseling on my WhatsApp group, you pay 20,000. Suddenly, my status elevated. That global citizenship that I had hungered for started blossoming. If you see my followership in Malawi, the phone calls I get from Malawi, it will shock you. From Ogeli, COVID that killed people turned to a blessing. When people heard uh, Suleiman say that he didn't want COVID to end, Suleiman has a private jet that brings $100,000 every month. I know the man that dedicates them. His name is J.T. Franklin. So with $100,000, he bought a second one. So $200,000 every month. He bought a third one, $300,000 every month. And they were using his planes to carry uh, PPE, face mask, anti-COVID materials to different nations. So COVID brought money to him. Am I talking to somebody? I say this and I'm done. When the globalization started coming, sir, one company called me, Dr. Pokey. We saw you on Facebook. How much will it cost, cost you to speak to us for one hour? I told her a quarter of a million. You see, that's expensive. I said, I went to good schools. He said, but I went to good schools too. I said, you can't, only me can preach this message in the whole of the South-South. The man carrying me, he knows you very well. The man carrying me, he said, off the phone. It's in an oil company, so I off the phone. Then she called back. Okay, we will pay. I said, madam, I stay in Swiss Spirit Hotel. And there is a suit, I stay there. Okay, Mute. <laughs> and your own time is coming. Yeah. What will kill others will promote you. Yeah. I said, I stay in Swiss Spirit Hotel. I said, the suite is 90,000 Naira a night. He said, we will pay. I said, I'm coming with a PA. Then pay. When I eat dinner, finish. 25K. Quarter of a million. Don't enter my account. Neat. And I moved. But in those days, when I finished preaching, that time when I be fake doctor, when I finished preaching, they will arrange two, 20, 20 Naira note, 20, 20 Naira note, put them for one envelope. Not be the bishop, the congregant, to you go send one elder with strong face. Can't give unto you. The elder go say, May the Lord go with you as if I come with Satan. <laughs> so I received, Una, they follow me, so. So I received a phone call. I was at Rive Hotel. Majoro called me, and I was Rive Hotel. I was told, do, Be the chairman that will interview, do a debate for PDP governorship aspirants. And I received a phone call. It was a US number. He said, guess who is speaking? I know if it no, I guess. He said, so, so, so person. He said, I love what you are doing. He said, one woman in the U.S. here is saying, Dr. Poki, Dr. Poki, Dr. Poki, Dr. Poki. I told you that I told her, I know you now. I called your name for him. He said, how can you, somebody like you know Dr. Poki? Lekwam. <laughs> Dr. Poki, Dr. Poki. He said, sir, I had to call you. He said, when I see what you are doing in Nigeria, I feel ashamed of myself that I've wasted my life. You know who, who called me? That neurosurgeon 
that I saw his name in vanguard and I felt bad that God has forsaken me. Remember, he will go before you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Do not be dismayed. It's not too late to change your story. When you are coming for thanksgiving tomorrow, you are not only thanking God for the past six months, you are thanking God for what he is going to do, what you have not seen before. Thank him, dance like I have never danced before. The same Dr. Pokey that was bad, felt bad because of somebody in the United States, the same Dr. Pokey, the same person said, I feel as if I'm wasting my time. I know it's not by my power, not by my might. By his grace, he's my helper. I have crossed over from where I was to where I used to be. If you came here as a tenant, the same anointing upon my life will make you multiple landlords. You came here owing people. People will buy from you. You came here feeling discouraged and depressed. People will come and celebrate you. <laughs> Mrs. Chuku did not get pregnant for a long time. Then she delivered only one delivery. He born eight children. One died. Seven remain. They put them for calendar that they sell in that, that year. America said, now, Nigeria go there, said, our children. They drive them. Say, the ones one will get for them, I don't feed, feed them. America took the children. The owner of Supreme Hotel, owner of Jire, his senior son, Ojinomi, is a pastor in Church of God Mission. He married of Vibi, Lady Sama's daughter. For years, they didn't deliver. Didn't get pregnant. Then he deliv she delivered once, boom, twins. Second delivery, three children in the U.S. Only two deliveries, family planning started. The miracle of God is called Igbunu. God will silence your enemies. Will silence those who laugh at you. But may his presence go with you. May you not offend him. May you not let sin move, away, make, move him away from you. May you always wait for him and depend on his instructions. I hope to see you tomorrow in a very jubilant mood because something great is still in stock for you. God bless you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much.